and uh, welcome to this installment of Frank and Mary here in Southboro. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen the show before, my name is Art Bergeron. I'm an attorney. I work at Myrick O'Connell. There are 70 of us. We're actually, I found out, the biggest firm in the state that isn't uh, centered in Boston. So anyway, I do nothing but elder law because every, we have enough lawyers. Everybody does what they really like doing. Um, so originally I thought these shows were going to be about elder law, but they're not. They're really about my friends Frank and Mary. If you've been to any of my presentations, you know my friends Frank and Mary and their kids Peter, Paul, and Mary Jr. And, and, and their goal in life is to live in their house until they die and be buried in the backyard. And if they're in Southboro, that means they want to stay in Southboro. So the question is, what are the kinds of things that they should know about and who are the people they should know, what are the programs they should know about, so that they can do that. And so I convinced, I roped actually in Doug Peck, uh, a good friend of mine who is a Southboro person, and we've talked yeah. about him before because he's, he's, so he's always been involved in his day job mm -hmm. in this kind of work because he knows everybody. And, and so Doug has really taken, you've really taken the lead in terms of finding all these great people. And all these good people. Yeah. And you got another great person today mm -hmm. whom I actually know from my, my day job also. Can you just tell us, tell us a little, who is this person? Right? <laughs> This is uh, actually a Northboro resident. A no from but she far does away. From far away. But she made it over the border. Carol yeah. DiRienzo. Right, there wasn't a wall. She was able to get yeah. through the border. I and over yeah. uh, uh, but I'll let her tell you know, her story. But uh, I've, I've been with a number of committees with her, and I've known her for about the last uh, probably eight or nine uh, years. She's an unusual person in the sense she's a nurse carpenter. But I'm going to let her tell you what that means. But it's, it's a really great idea if you want to stay in your, in your home, home and you know you're going to have some physical uh, challenges as you get older. So both of us inevitably have found folks that we work with saying, Yes. you know, you really got to call Carol. Yes, right? and I yeah. rely on her for a lot of different things. For a lot, right. Even any type of construction that even I'm doing, I always contact her first because okay. she knows so much. And who would have thought? Does she who look like a, yeah, who I know it. It's her she disguise. Does. <laughs> and, and, and this time, and it turns out that our kids, our kids went through uh, yeah. Algonquin together, uh, oh. <laughs> which is even a closer relationship. We didn't yeah. know that till oh, sure. afterwards we started right. talking. That's, it's that's true. Really close. I didn't know it until you said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow, they were. Yeah. I didn't know she went to Algonquin. You went yeah. to Algonquin. No, I no, no, her kids, kids did. did. Oh, the kids, okay. did. Oh, the kids, kids did. went to Algonquin together. Right, which was a which was a nice. So what do so, you do exactly? What is, so what is I own a company called Solus R Innovations, and what Solus we Solus R N R N for registered nurse yeah. ovations, and, and it could yeah. be renovations, innovations, what however play on words you want to use it. And what I've kind of come to terms with this is we're a boutique construction firm, and how is that? Um, we do we approach all of our projects from the eye of the, the eye of the carpenter and the heart of the nurse. So when we look at a project, we are very uh, person-centered. Mm -hmm. Many construction companies come in and say, oh, I'll do this and do this and do this. But the first things that we do is we sit and we talk to who is on the other side of that table. Because you're, really, you're, you're not building new <coughs> houses no. for random. No. You're not building plain vanilla. No. Your, your, I, your typical client is who? Well, we do both commercial, residential, and uh, what we are now terming um, wellness remodeling. So whether we do a, we just did a um, huge build out for a dermatologist in Shrewsbury and we just did um, a bathroom for a young older couple who is wanting to age in place. Um, and in we do everything in between. But we all we approach whether it's the construction of a commercial building or the um, bathroom for somebody who wants to stay in their home knowing that as life gets along, our bodies don't quite work the way they used to. Right. Um, but we approach it all the same way. We, we really sit and we talk to that person and we get to know you inside and out. And I think because I'm also a nurse, people are not afraid to tell me what their habits are, um, whether they cohabitate in the shower or whether right. they need to use the bathroom at 2 o'clock in the morning. And, and those are the things we need to find out, whether they go for a midnight snack, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so the path to the kitchen is, is illuminated. So these are the things we really get um, very, very familiar with. So for my so friends, Frank and Mary, mm -hmm. it's like they should always be talking to you. Because <laughs> if your goal, I mean, I always, you know, where do you really live? I mean, you live in, you live in your house mm -hmm. and in your neighborhood and in your community, right. kind of in that order, mm -hmm. right? So, and, and so it's great if, to be able to stay in mm -hmm. the community, but if your house 
isn't right and you can't be living there comfortable anymore, the game's over. Basically, game's yeah. Over. And, and unfortunately, the housing market, mostly from around here, is what we used to call the Peter Pan effect. They built houses never thinking you were going to age. Yeah. You, were, you were just going to, you know, <clears throat> somehow grow old in the house without you and the that's house right. growing together. Yeah. So you, what happens or is you grow Or drop dead apart. really young. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's the other thing. I mean, we are living much longer than anticipated these mm -hmm. days. So um, we try to talk to even younger people adults. Um, we did a remodel for a couple in their 30s. We did it the same way and lo and behold after we were done um, unfortunately the one client had a car accident and was in a wheelchair and she called me Come up. On. She said oh my god Carol I know you talked about this. I never thought mm. about it until <coughs> like I'd be 90. She said but my god I could use it. Yeah. I could go to my kitchen. I could go to my bedroom. We, right. There was no no barriers. There was mm -hmm. I could use this. I could use that. She said and she was in her 30s. So you're never too young <laughs> to think ahead and, and to start thinking about if you're going to do a project, how do you do it so that you stay there forever? That's, that's great. And so, so, that's can, great. so can you just kind of, once again, our, the folks who are watching a lot of times are watching because there's two old guys <laughs> talking about <laughs> other old <clears throat> people. Can you just talk about how, how, one would, how that would affect folks that you're dealing with regularly who may be Frank and Mary and they're kind of in their 70s. So Frank and, and Mary and And the kind of two different kind of clusters. You know, there yep. are some, like there are, there are kind of physical disability issues. Mm -hmm. And then there are questions around cognitive abilities, mm -hmm. right? And your mm -hmm. ability, how do you handle making, you know, the, I remember I've heard you just talk about making the kitchen safe and mm -hmm. making the, just, can you just kind of talk sure. about Sure. So there's many different aspects depending on the room that you pick. So let's start with the bathroom. Yeah, because it's not just the ramp. I mean, we typically yeah, people hear this and go, ramp. oh, we're going to put in a ramp. No, no. Right. no. it's really not the ramp at all. That's yeah. the last and the easiest thing to do, or the yeah. stair lift. It's really how do you function within your home now, and what are those obstacles as you're going to be going forward? Um, so we look at we look at four things. We look at the bedroom, the bathroom, the kitchen, and the entryway because you have to be able to get into your house. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. So that's where the ramp comes in, and the yeah. door widen. Mm -hmm. How wide is that front door? And the hub, no matter how big your, your house is, as you get older, you kind of shrink to exactly that exactly. place. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Th those are I know the people four that spaces. just they got eight room houses, but they're really only four room houses. It's only right. four. You only is use that? four rooms of your house as you kind of age. Yeah. Um, even now, I'm. I only use four rooms in my house, <laughs> um, and I'm not that old yet. But um, so you so you do look at the front door first. Can you get in? Can you access? Then, if you're me, the first mm -hmm. thing you do when you walk in your front door is you use a bathroom. Can mm -hmm. you get into your bathroom? Typically, bathroom doors are 24 inches. If you have a walker or a wheelchair, you're not getting in your bathroom, so you're leaving that um, help outside, and you're making your way across. Oh, even a walk, even a walker. A walker will not fit in a 24 inch opening. Yeah. So. Um, how do you widen that? Do you take off the jams and you maybe put on a barn door or we use pocket doors a lot to get into your bathroom. Once in your bathroom, can you access your toilet? Um, and if you start to have some cognitive issues and you see a white toilet with a white seat, it just becomes one white blob. How do you, how do you ascertain where the toilet seat is? So oftentimes we do a two color in, on a toilet so that somebody who's having some cognitive mm -hmm. issues knows, okay, that's the toilet and how to open the seat and yeah. aim correctly um, or sit correctly and not get injured. How do you get up? How do you function in your, in your <coughs> shower? Or do you have a bathtub that has a, somebody with arthritic knees is not getting up and mm -hmm. over? Right. How do you make that more accessible? There's um, some over counter products or there's, we oftentimes take the tubs out and put in a zero clearance shower. A zero clearance Okay, shower. so showers have Which had a major, major breakthrough in the last few years, meaning that they have now what's called linear drains. So you used to have to have a little bit of lip to keep all the water in, because otherwise it would spill out to the floor. Right. They were, the brewers <laughs> are, are, are inventive, <coughs> are, are charging the market here, so they now have a linear drain so you can have a straight opening. What also happens that. is also, it also give somebody who is having some spatial issues a demarcation, <coughs> saying that drain now separates your shower from your floor. So these are all like different things that you can do to help people who have cognitive issues function safely within a bathroom. Wow, so it's not just the grab bars, or which are nope. important. Absolutely, I and, believe and there's And putting a, them up so that they don't 
pull out when you're, right? yes, which absolutely. I remember you taught me that too. Yes. It's not about just having it look like a grab bar. You have to make sure it's that gotta it's got to be curtain. solid behind yeah, it absolutely. so that it doesn't just pull out. Pull out absolutely. Yeah. And I think a grab bar, I know we have a lot of clients who are, resist grab bars because they think it makes your house look old. Grab bars now are more stylish than ever. And I firmly believe that whether you're three or 103, you can use a grab bar. <clears throat> I, we, I was in Westboro and we interviewed, there's a company there now. Yes. Right, with a, that has like a showroom. And Lifeway has, Motility. Life, <coughs> and we did a kind of live in, in there. Oh, mm -hmm. great. Yeah, yeah with mm -hmm. Shelby Marshall, who's, uh -huh. a, a, she's, right, she's my co-host. Mm -hmm. Oh, Westboro. over in Westboro? Okay. And it was amazing to see mm -hmm. the stuff. Just yeah, the, and they have some really beautiful, I mean. Terrific. So what we also recommend when for doing a bathroom remodel is to use, instead of towel bars, yeah. to use grab bars for your towels. Because if you're getting off and the floor is a little wet and you mm -hmm. go to slip and you grab that towel bar, you're going to wind up on your keister. <laughs> but if you grab a, a grab bar, yeah. you might have some, you'll, you will have some, some safety. It may not prevent the fall completely, but yeah. at least you'll have something to hold on to that will this keep is, you safe. This is great. Now, now talk <coughs> about, I don't mean to be into, but uh, this, this, <laughs> I really love yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember she, did, she actually did like a 20 minute version of this at a yeah. seminar. That it, it was just amazing. But, but the most amazing to me were the bathroom and the kitchen. Talk about the kitchen. Okay, so there's a lot of inventive products out in the kitchen. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever cooked a turkey, mm -hmm. and you have that big oven, and you have to lean over the oven to get that turkey. And why does the turkey, as you get older, wind up often on the floor? Yeah. And my dogs have a happy turkey. <laughs> um, they now make ovens that open, like really? more like, like a. Um, yeah. That, uh, like, like a French door refrigerator like, right. does, so that you can now open up and you, you have complete access mm -hmm. and you put in something underneath so that you, when you take it out, you have um, a counter that you can put it right out on or a shelf, a built-in shelf. Um, they have sinks now that can move up and down. So if you have, um, if you have a partners that one is standing and one is in a wheelchair, mm -hmm. the sink can adjust to the height of the person who's using it. It's a little motor on the side and it comes really? down to yeah. access or goes up. Same with um, stovetops. They have stovetops that do that. Cabinets, they have pull-down cabinets that you can either, either they're on a slide that move down or you can open the door and there's a, a hook that you can bring them down so that they're, ex like for short yeah. people like me, who yeah. still climbs on the yeah. counter. <laughs> <top shelf. laughs> um, but yes, you can pull them down so they're fully accessible. They've got drawers for um, refrigerators now, so you don't have to have the big refrigerator. You can have little mm -hmm. drawers, drawers for dishwashers. Um, you can mount a standard dishwasher up a little higher so you're not always bending over to reach it. There's a lot of different little so innovative things. So there's a lot of people going out now and doing a room at a time or beginning to remodel because they've been in the house for a while. Absolutely. And they want to update it a little bit. So they should be thinking about these things because you Absolutely. could spend twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 remodeling a kitchen or whatever and then say... Or more. Yeah, or more and then you say, you know, it's not working for me, or a year down the road, so it's not working for me. we've had a client, and that's one of the reasons we started this company, who had MS. Mm -hmm. And she had, and when, when she was first approached by the, her first contractor, she was still, like, she was walking with a cane, but she was horizontal. Mm -hmm. They did a very extensive kitchen remodel, and within a year, she was no longer able to stand. So she was in a scooter. So everything had to be readjusted oh. after spending an a large amount of money for her, her to um, to have a beautiful kitchen, she mm -hmm. could no longer use it. So you could have you have to think this up, which is a good point. Right. You really need a strategy. If you're well, Frankie Mary and you're staying in the exactly. house, start, thinking about how start you're, younger. How you're yes. going to age. Each yeah, time, yeah. E no matter when you buy a home, yeah. whether you're 20s mm -hmm. or 30s, if you're going to start to remodel, think ahead. Do If you're going to change a door, if you're going to change a room, change your doorway in, right away to 36 inches. If you know, if you can, mm -hmm. if you can take out a wall and put in a, a beam so that you have some open space, do it, because you, the money that you're going to use mm -hmm. now is going to pay for the benefits for years to come. And, and I'm, and I'm going to have her close here because mm -hmm. because right. she's so fascinating, yeah. right? That 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 we need to stop. But I think that's a great way to close, which mm -hmm. is a think ahead, but b. So let someone talk to you that can help you think ahead that way. If you're not a, in in this business. You may not necessarily see what thinking ahead really means. You need this well, kind of you need well, this kind of skill. Thinking ahead for a contractor yeah. is yeah. different than thinking ahead for a for normal the nurse. person. Yeah, for a nurse. Absolutely. And that's where the nurse comes in. And the that's the magic. Mindset. That and that's, that's ex the ma exactly e the magic. Right? Exactly. Yeah. That is the secret sauce. Yeah.
Thank Good. you. Thank You're you for welcome. the suggestion. <laughs> Thank Good. you very Thank much you for very coming much on. Thank you very much for having me. Nice Thank to you. see you again. Yeah. You too. Okay. And, and we'll be back after uh, a non-commercial. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hi. Welcome back uh, to Frank and Mary here in Southborough. Uh, we have another great guest that Doug Peck um, found <laughs> and that has information just that every single, every single person uh, who is, is in the kind of Social Security, Medicare, trying to figure out, you really need to know this stuff, Doug. Yeah. Yes, and this is Carolyn McLeod. She's the Shine Counselor for the uh, South Borough Council on Aging, and she's the one that can help you figure out wh what Medicare plans uh, you need to get, given your very particular circumstances. And how in the world and, it works. And, and how it works, <laughs> because it works. A, it's, it's very complicated anyway, and then B, they change things every year. So she keeps up with it. Shine counselors are volunteers, but they're incredibly dedicated because they need to go to classes every year to keep up with all the Medicare changes. So it's a really big effort. Uh, so I, you know, that's one reason I wanted her here because people, it's just so necessary for people to understand what's going on in their insurance world. So Carolyn. Tell well, us a little you. bit about yourself. Yeah, thank I was you going to say, much. quick backstory <laughs> yeah. first, which is really interesting. All right. Right. So years ago, I got an associate's degree in gerontology. I was going to get into um, nursing home administration, but then we moved, and um, they didn't have a program similar in the college where we moved. So I ended up with sort of an accounting business administration yeah. background yeah. and ended up with a job at Harvard University um, as director of accounting operations and then I retired okay. 10 years ago and was looking for something to do and I saw a little blurb actually in the Southboro Senior Center <laughs> newsletter <laughs> about do you want to be a shine counselor and I said well that sounds interesting and maybe I could use my talents both talents so went to six weeks of extensive training <coughs> took a certification exam and actually we go for monthly trainings Oh, um, required wow. and every yeah. year we have to take another exam and get recertified so it's very serious it really is I've been doing this about um, nine years now yeah. um, you keep coming back because the money is so good <laughs> yeah. that's a lot yes. of dedication to By all the that way, that's a good point yeah. I'm a volunteer yeah. I am a volunteer there's actually 650 shine volunteers in Massachusetts alone which that's is amazing. kind of interesting yeah. um, I'm in the Metro West group and I um, have an office in South Borough Senior Center. They've seen my, my worth, and they've mm -hmm. given me a nice space there, and they've welcomed me, all the staff has welcomed me there, which mm -hmm. is really, really nice. That's um, great. So SHINE, what does that stand for? Mm -hmm. It's serving the health needs of, every, of everyone, but only with Medicare. So I deal with Medicare for 65 and olders, and I also have quite a few clients that are under 65 and disabled that are on Medicare. Mm -hmm. And I do Medicare and Medicaid counseling. Here in the state of Massachusetts, it's MassHealth, Mass Health, right. which is a huge quagmire <laughs> of complicated right. programs. Mm -hmm. And so I screen people um, to see if they're eligible for anything that MassHealth can help them with, as well as helping them with their Medicare. And those are, are the, Medi the Medicaid ones are uh, income qualified, right? The different levels, of, the MassHealth does, of, of income that you get. Yes, you that's true, but the ones that I do, well, they're disabled. Okay. They've been deemed disabled yeah, by the Social Security Administration. Okay. And after you're disabled for 24 months, you automatically go on Medicare. So Medicare is the hook okay. that brings them mm -hmm. in my door. Into the do on Into my door, okay. yep. yep. So, so the, the, my trivia question, mm -hmm. right? So Medicare C, Medicare <laughs> Advantage, right? Could you, could you just go over, just, uh, just kind of in, in, in brief, how, a, how Medicare A and B work sure. and therefore what well, C what is. You need, why you need and, more than yeah, that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Medicare A yeah. is the hospital part, primarily hospital part, mm -hmm. and that, that costs nothing, it's free. Mm -hmm. um, part B is what I call the doctor part, where you go to the doctor's office and Medicare pays 80%, but you have to pay 20%. And that can amount to some significant mm -hmm. money. 
The Part B currently costs for the average Joe $135 a month. And that's a lot of times comes right out of your social security. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. So you have to have A and B no matter what. No matter what. And, and so when, and when people hear this term Medigap policies, mm -hmm. which I, I remember I always thought that they were simply called MedX policies, and mm -hmm. then I heard that was actually a brand uh -huh. or a kind that, of a Medigap yes. policy. What is a Medigap policy? So a Medigap policy is designed to cover all of the gaps that Medicare doesn't pay for. So some like these co -pays Right, so yeah. let's say you get hospitalized, there's a $1,300 deductible when you get hospitalized. When you go to the doctor's office, you have to pay 20%. So those are called gaps. So people deal with gaps in two different ways. One is with a Medigap policy or yeah. with what you just mentioned, the Advantage plans, which are Part C. The so-called Advantage plans. Yes. Right, because yes. people will often ask, we, we, even because they're on drug plans, and there'll be a D plan, and people will say, so what, where did C go? What did <laughs> yeah. Say, trust me, it, it exists. <laughs> it really yeah. exists, yeah. So um, when people come through the door, and which, by the way, when people come through the door, they're usually like, I consider myself reasonably intelligent, <laughs> but I, I don't, don't understand yeah, I know. this. At all. Yeah. I think we're in the, are we in this we're, book? We're in, we're in this book. Yeah. I could, yeah. if I had a dollar for everybody yeah. that said that to me, I'd be a rich woman. <laughs> yeah, you think you're really good, and then you look at this <laughs> stuff, it's like, how does this go? So there's two options, really. You can go with the Medigap policy, which we discussed, and then you have yeah. to have that Part D drug plan, mm -hmm. if that's the side of the chart, I call it, right. that so you it's go a, on. So it's A and B, yep. but, you, but you pay for the extras with the right. Medigap. With, with a gap and, and, a, and a drug plan. And then you have a drug plan in addition to that, right? Mm -hmm. right? And you're actually paying for that drug right. plan. Yeah. The Advantage plans have drugs built into them. And the difference between the Medigap plan, where you can go see any doctor you want, yeah. the Part C Advantage plans are networks. And I what I do when people come in is find out what network their primary care physician is in mm -hmm. because I don't want to put them in an advantage plan their doctor doesn't take. Because mm -hmm. right. then they'll walk through the door with their card and they'll say, sorry, you can't come here. Mm -hmm. So the advantage so, plans... So if you're not in the... So I, I know that in kind of traditional health insurance, a lot of times there's a network but then if you're out of the network, you, like you pay extra. You can with, in, with some of the Advantage plans. They have some called PPOs, yeah. and those are pre preferred provider organizations. Those you can go out of network, but you will be paying more. I see. Um, the HMOs. See. But that's not automatically. No. That, the HMOs, which are um, health management organizations, those are the ones that you have to stay within the network. And if you have, you're getting a referral to like a surgeon, that surgeon's in the network. The thing that's the advantage of the Advantage plans is that they, have, they offer more than Medigaps. More, in, in more, than, more than traditional Medicare. Yes. So mm -hmm. I, always, I always think about the C's as being, they have to offer everything that Medicare A and B offer. Right. But they, and, can, offer, but they can offer more. Right. Most of them have um, vision pieces, mm -hmm. uh, hearing pieces, some of them are dental pieces. So what I didn't mention is with the Advantage plans, there's <coughs> co-pays with everything you do. Mm -hmm. And so what I tell people normally when they come in is assess your health. If you're a young, healthy senior, the Advantage plans are great. They're less expensive. And um, if you're not going to the doctor very often, the co-pays don't add up. But if you're a... Um, a, a senior with a lot of underlying health is issues like diabetes, COPD, heart issues, and you see multiple specialists, the Medigap oh. plans are usually the better option. Mm -hmm. I see. And I then see. some Do people start in, on mm -hmm. one side, uh -huh. yeah. and then as they age, they go to the other side. That was what I was just going to ask you. So how, how often should people be reevaluating these? Every year? Yearly. Really? I really think, especially... Okay especially if you're in the Medigap plans, mm -hmm. because you have to have a standalone drug plan, the Part okay. D, and those change a lot. The, yeah, the, the prices change a yes, lot. Yes, ch and, they they and they drop okay. drugs that they cover. Right, with the, formula, the, the so-called formulary formulary formularies. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, so that in, in, uh, I try to, ur to urge seniors to think about that. When you're shopping your, mm -hmm. for your drug plan, 
don't think which one's the cheapest. Think which ones have my drugs. Right. Because right. right. without your drugs, they, what's right. the use of the plan? Right. You that, know, it's, it that's why I go to someone like her, because yeah. she's going to look at all these variables that you don't think of. Right. right. You know, or you might not necessarily consider. And, so Medicare starts at 65, is that right? When you, yes. it, not being disabled, but under yes. normal. So when should somebody start thinking about this? I usually say um, come in a, about a year ahead of time. Okay. Um, that's only if you're not working. Mm -hmm. If okay. you're working and have active employee health coverage, mm -hmm. you do not have to take Medicare when you turn 65. Okay. But if you're not, you, you have to take it in, and there's penalties involved. If right. People get nervous, they come in. But I say come in for a year ahead, do a Medicare 101 with me, mm -hmm. and get start thinking about what you want to do. I never ask anybody new to think right there on the spot what they want to do. They right. really need to go home and kind of think about their risk tolerance, think about mm -hmm. their health issues. But one of the things I wanted to say, sort of a bragging thing, yeah. is that um, Metro West Group last year, during yeah. an open enrollment, we saved our clients over $2 million. Wow. And then the That's year before, when we were able to track the whole year, yeah. we saved our clients over $7 million. That's a lot. By helping money. them pick the plans right. that suit mm -hmm. them but are no, not over cost. Mm -hmm. That's an incredible number. Yeah. That's a, and and, and you, you get to that interesting point, too, which is it can, your plan may change every year, not only to, based on what, what, the, what, the, what, the, what they're offering, but also based on you. Yes. Right. Right? Cause yes. So as you say, you're, you're looking at a, and what your risk tolerance is. Yes. We so often say, my, my friends Frank and Mary, you know, the, the goal of life you mm -hmm. get to our age is no longer fame and fortune is to get a good night's sleep. So, <laughs> you know, fame and fortune. Speak for yourself, you know, we're, we're just past that. You know, you just don't want to be waking up in the middle of the night saying, oh my God, what if this happens? Yeah. So, and, and the gift of this, the gift of just what young people always have to worry about or used to have mm -hmm. to worry about pre existing conditions, blah, 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 that's all past. Mm -hmm. So you can just say to yourself, geez, you know, last year I was feeling good, but something happened. Yeah. Or, yeah. or I'm anticipating yeah. needing an operation next year. So what, what is my, what do right. I want to be in right. next year? Right. right. That's, an, that's a wonderful thing. It's interesting. Um, a statistic that's, that's revealing mm -hmm. is over 10,000 baby boomers are turning 65 every day. Every day, yes. Now that's pretty amazing. Yeah. And they get the Medicare and You book. Mm -hmm. which is about this thick, yeah, yeah. nobody ever reads right. it. Right, never. It's and probably they, written by a lawyer. They, right. Then they know. Oh, how cruel. How cruel. I, I, I tell my client, I said, that's the trouble with being a lawyer. Yeah, is people know. read legal documents, they, they think it's in English. Yeah, they do. <laughs> right? And, and then they, well, what? I just read it. Because, what? No I don't idea know what, what it, said. it means, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, there, and, or the government thinks you can yeah. go, there's a website, mm -hmm. medicare.gov, they right. think you can go there, and, and solve your and you issues, just, yeah. it out. and you can you can use the site, but if you can't interpret yeah. what you're looking at, right. it's it's not or, easy. Or you, you, there just just things you don't know, yes. and you, uh, that you need somebody to question, like you will, and say, well, have you thought about this, or are you doing that, and they'll say, I hadn't, but I should. Right. I, just one thing, I was in human resources for a long time before this. And I know as you approach 65 nowadays, I mean, there's potential for people to get laid off, companies going out of business, right. their health plans can change, will change every year. So I always think it's wise, if you're 64 or so, to be, at least know what Medicare, even if you're in, currently employed, you don't know right. what's gonna happen exactly. in a year. And it's always good to get a little advanced, you know, information about what, if you financially, what's gonna cost me if this should disappear and it could disappear quickly on you. So I'm curious, who 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 are the pe other people like you? So you're in, it's a Metro West group. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So do you kind of like just get, you have like meetings of the, of the folks that are just in like in these in these surrounding yes. communities? Yes. Who typically does? Who who else is there? Who does this? Some are retired lawyers. Yeah. Some are retired accountants. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, some are retired nurses. 
Um, it's all it's all over the gamut. It really is. Um, but it's a whole. But typically, as you, as you, as you're saying it, you know, it's it's really a set of specialists, right? Yeah. Right? right. Who are now who really liked what they did, right? And now really kind of want to be doing. And right. it must be interesting for each of you because you're kind of bouncing off ideas with with some of these other folks, right? Yeah. One of one of the things that saves me is that my boss is the best one in the state. <laughs> she, Kat, Kathy Warhart, she, yeah. she actually writes the training materials for wow. all of the Shine counselors <clears throat> in the state. And if I get stuck, she's only a phone call away. Right. So right. She's, she's been great. But she, can I tell you a quick little story? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not about money that I saved somebody on Medicare, but they came to see me about a Medicare issue. Yeah. And I always screen people. And the woman said, oh, I don't collect Social Security. And I said, why is that? And she said, well, I never worked enough quarters. And she and her husband said they went to Social Security when, she tur when he turned 65 and she was 62. Well, at that time, she would have had to collect on her own record, yeah. but she hadn't worked enough quarters. What the, what the Social Security agent failed to tell her was that when she got to be full retirement age, she could collect half of his. So 10 years later, they show up in my office, oh my and God. she has not been collecting since she was 65. So I said, you better get down to Social Security <laughs> office yeah. and get that straightened out mm -hmm. and get signed up. And I figured going forward, she'd be fine. Well, next year they came to see me, and they had gotten a check for $68,000. <laughs> they for, actually paid her retroactively. They retro actually retro paid her because they found the notes of the f person they talked to, and yeah. and they proved that the federal that federal agent had not, not told her that that, she, when, that this the, was available uh, to her when she turned story. when she turned yeah. full retirement age. Yeah. So she got restitution plus wow. interest. Wow. So in addition to your high pay, <laughs> you get a percentage. Yeah, <laughs> you wish. I get this, really nice thank you notes. Yeah, I'm not a, allowed to take any. Yeah. <laughs> These are really incredibly dedicated people to go yeah. through the training and to, to do on this, to work on this very complicated and su super important uh, piece that people really need to know. So and, and so I suppose really go. And, everybody should. Go. So I suppose even though that like the sign up period for Medicare isn't that's 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 like in. In uh, October, that's or the open enrollment. The open enrollment mm -hmm. when you can change okay. is, is October fifteenth yeah. through December seventh, yeah. and mm -hmm. during that time, I'm in f four yeah. days a week, right. yeah. you know, eight hours straight or something yeah. like that. But, but if I'm a senior and I'm and I am and I'm and I tend to lose sleep because I'm a senior, right? I should really be talking to you now so that I get the 101. Yes, right. Right? absolutely. Because, because I'm one of those people that just didn't figure it out and I just went on. I just wanted A and B, you know, and I got a Medigap and that's kind of what I'm doing. But but if I'm thinking about what these other options really are, I should be talking to you now. Oh, come see me anytime. So, I mean, there are people that I can help change mm -hmm. outside of open enrollment. There's yeah. some new bells and whistles that mm -hmm. we can use that can change people. Or if somebody's in a drug plan and they yeah. find out that their plan's not covering their drug anymore, mm -hmm. definitely need to see a shine counselor and we can help. So they call the senior center for an yes. interview and yep. ask you and yep. said you, okay. Do you yep. know that number off the top of your head? I do not. No, okay. Oh. We'll, we'll, no, we'll, have, no, we'll, no, we'll get that though. We'll okay. have that as a yes, banner. We will. Okay. Right, because these okay. folks are great at, yes. at, the, at the station here, right? So, so we'll one number that, that I do have though is 1-800-AGE-INFO. Yeah. And you can- A-G-E-I-N-F-O, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you can press three or five if you yeah. have a cell phone, yeah. and they will actually connect you with somebody in the Metro West area. Oh, good. And they can tell you, That's you know, great. what, what sh um, mm -hmm. Shine counselors are available. You don't yes. have to stay within your town, yeah. um, although I think I do a pretty good job uh, for yeah. South Bro. <laughs> I've heard nothing but good things. <laughs> this, <laughs> is this is great. great. This, this is, is great. great. Yeah, yeah, Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yeah. Oh, we it was really a pleasure. Good. We yeah. really appreciate I think it's yeah. really helpful for a lot of people. Yes. Yet again, Doug's pulled in some great <laughs> folks that you needed to know. Uh, thanks again for watching, and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next yeah. installment of Frank and Mary here in South Brook. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah.